TV repair shop is behind bars tonight, accused of burglary and grand theft. Now, some former customers want to know what happened to their TVs. Four in the corner's Matt Grant is in the studio tonight with more. Well, that's right, Emily. A customer coming to us with concerns after he couldn't get his TV back. And tonight, we're finding out that he's not alone. Empty storefront. The whole deal. Mickey English just wants his TV back. We were devastated because it wasn't our TV, it's our kids' television. A 73-inch flat screen he dropped off for repair back in December. English says he paid the store's owner, Ryan Glenn, 300 bucks cash. It's always been a cash-only operation. Every time I went to him, it was always I had to bring him cash. An empty storefront and a for rent sign are all that's left of the TV doctor's repair shop on Cape Coral Parkway. After three months without hearing from the owner, English drove by. But for some reason, his phone was disconnected. So uh, my wife and I took a drive by only to find out that the place is completely emptied out. He didn't file a police report, but we discovered at least three other customers did, reporting over $3,000 worth of missing TV sets with no response from Glenn. According to the arrest report, officers were able to locate the TV, saying probable cause exists that Ryan Glenn did knowingly and permanently deprive all victims of their property. What happened to all the TVs that were in there? Ah, he took them all with him. Dennis Bertolo was Glenn's landlord. He says Glenn had trouble paying rent almost immediately, and he was forced to kick him out in February, three months after opening. Did he say anything about getting those TVs back to the customers? Yeah, I mentioned it to him because people were calling me after I put the floor red sign on there, and I said, you need to follow up and get in touch with these people. He said, oh, yeah, no problem. Fox 4 checked with the city and the state. Neither have a record of Glenn doing business at this location. A city spokeswoman telling Fox 4 that Glenn's business license expired in 2011, and it appears he was operating illegally. We found the store's website down and found they have an F rating with the Better Business Bureau. As for English, the next time he needs a TV repaired, he won't have to go far. I should probably try and learn to do it myself. You can get all kinds of manuals on Google these days. Well, that might be good advice. Glenn is currently behind bars. The state attorney has charged him on unrelated counts of grand theft and burglary. The spokeswoman says there's not enough evidence that he stole the TVs. Glenn's arraignment scheduled for this Monday. Live in the studio, Matt Grant, Fox 4 in your corner. All right, thank you.